There's a hidden language written across the wild, a code left not by humans, but by creatures that walk, crawl, and dig through the earth. Most people step over it every single day, unaware that some of the smallest, most overlooked animals on this planet are quietly unearthing what miners spend lifetimes searching for. Gold. Yes, real gold, hidden beneath the surface, whispered through the movements of nature's own architects. This is not folklore. This is a fact written in dust, soil, and instinct. And if you know how to read the signs, if you follow the trails the right way, these animals can lead you directly to the glittering veins of Earth's most precious metal. In the heart of the Australian outback, prospectors have long noticed something peculiar. Where ant hills rise from the iron red soil, flecks of gold have often been found scattered around them. To the untrained eye, these small mounds look ordinary, just the homes of insects. But to those who listen to the land, they are golden beacons. Ants, in their endless labor, unknowingly carry gold particles up from the depths. Their tunnels cut through mineral-rich layers, dragging dust and fragments of ore to the surface. Some studies even show that ants can bring gold up from depths as deep as three meters, levels unreachable without tools. They don't mean to reveal the treasure. They're simply following survival instinct. But to a sharp prospector, every ant mound becomes a clue, a potential marker of a hidden gold deposit below. Nature's miners, working for free, Yet ants are not the only creatures playing this role. Termites, those tireless architects of the tropics, are perhaps even more revealing. In parts of Africa and Western Australia, giant termite mounds have been discovered to contain measurable concentrations of gold. Imagine that, a tower of earth built grain by grain, acting as a natural assay of the land beneath it. Geologists have learned to analyze termite mounds for traces of minerals, using them as a natural exploration tool. These insects dig deep, hauling soil from the underlying rock, sometimes from layers that haven't seen daylight in millions of years. And when they bring that material up, they unknowingly carry tiny hints of what lies hidden below. In the eyes of a prospector, a termite mound is a geological report, one written by the Earth itself. But the story gets even more fascinating when we follow the trails left by larger creatures. In gold-bearing regions, animals don't just live on the land, they shape it. Wild boars, for instance, have been observed digging in the mud of riverbanks, uprooting soil and exposing mineralized zones where gold dust has been trapped. Their snouts churn the sediment, and where they've dug, prospectors often find fresh traces of heavy black sand and even flakes of gold. It's as if these creatures were clearing the ground for human discovery centuries before man even arrived. Buffalo and elephants also play their part, though in a quieter way. Their migration routes often pass through ancient alluvial plains, low-lying areas that once carried gold-bearing rivers. As these massive animals travel, they trample the soft earth, compacting certain zones and exposing others. In time, rains wash away the lighter sediments concentrating the heavier minerals, among them, gold. So when old trails crisscross mineral-rich terrain, they can act like natural sluice boxes. The gold settles in the same depressions where the animals once walked. And then, there's the unexpected trailblazer, the humble mole. These blind diggers tunnel endlessly through the soil, unaware that they are performing micro-excavations of geological significance. Their tunnels can expose streaks of iron oxide, a key indicator of mineralization. Some prospectors have even followed mole hills to areas that later tested positive for gold-bearing veins. It's not superstition, it's science. Every turn of the soil, every displaced pebble tells a story, and the mole's endless digging acts as a living survey of the land. Still, there's more. Birds, especially certain ground-feeding species, have been observed collecting shiny objects for their nests. In places like Alaska and Western Australia, prospectors have occasionally found traces of gold dust near bird gathering sites, where sand and gravel have been disturbed by constant pecking. It's a rare occurrence, yes, but when the same behavior repeats across several locations, the message becomes clear. Where birds are interested, minerals might be close to the surface. This interconnected dance between life and geology creates something extraordinary. 
a map of movement and material written not on paper but in trails, mounds, and burrows. And while technology has advanced, with metal detectors, satellite imaging, and ground-penetrating radar, nature still holds the oldest and most accurate indicators. Because unlike machines, animals don't guess. They move where life is possible, and life flourishes where minerals balance the soil. Now picture this. You're standing in a dry plain. The sun is fierce, and not a single piece of metal glints in sight. But around you are dozens of termite mounds, all concentrated in one line, stretching toward a small rocky rise. Beneath your feet, invisible to the eye, lies a vein of quartz shot through with gold. And those termites, unknowingly, have built their city right on top of it. The landscape is whispering, but few listen. Those who do, strike gold. Yet even with all this knowledge, many dismiss these signs as coincidence. They prefer the hum of machines over the language of life. But in remote areas where technology fails, these natural indicators can still reveal secrets that no detector can sense. It's an art, the art of reading the wild. And there's a deeper irony to all this, that in nature's grand design, creatures driven purely by instinct often uncover what mankind, with all his tools and technology, struggles to find. A prospector with a trained eye knows that following these trails, from the mound of a termite to the dig marks of a wild pig, can be more rewarding than any electronic signal, because nature has been searching, sorting, and shaping the land for millions of years. Every trail, every burrow, every mound is evidence of that process, and somewhere along one of them, gold is waiting. Now imagine you're walking through a savanna after a heavy rain. The smell of wet earth fills the air. You notice a stretch of ant mounds forming a strange pattern, cutting across a patch of red soil. Beneath that soil, unknown to everyone who's walked this path before, lies a pocket of fine gold dust, brought closer to the surface by those very ants, their tunnels acting like natural elevators. You bend down, scoop a handful of dirt, and there it is, the unmistakable shimmer of something ancient, precious and alive. The ants weren't your competition, they were your guide. This is nature's paradox. Sometimes the smallest creatures are the greatest miners. As you explore deeper into this truth, you begin to realize something remarkable. Gold doesn't simply exist beneath the earth. It moves, migrates, and concentrates. And animals, unknowingly, help guide its path. Through digging, burrowing, carrying, and reshaping the land, they reveal what lies beneath. Their movements write invisible trails of wealth across landscapes untouched by human hands. The deeper you look, the clearer it becomes that prospecting isn't about conquering nature, it's about understanding it. Those who master that connection uncover treasures others overlook. Because gold doesn't just hide, it waits for those who can read its story in the footprints, trails, and mounds left behind by nature's true explorers. Every creature, from the mightiest elephant to the tiniest termite, plays its part in the grand design of gold's eternal cycle. The earth speaks in patterns, animals are its pen, and gold is the secret it has been writing into the soil for millions of years, waiting for someone wise enough to read between the lines. The next time you walk through the wilderness, remember this. The most valuable clues don't shine, they move. Watch the trails, watch the builders. Because where they go, gold might just follow. This is EGS Pro, where the mysteries of gold meet the intelligence of nature. If you've ever dreamed of uncovering treasure without machines or chemicals, remember. Nature already holds the answers. All you need to do is learn its language. Stay curious, stay observant, and let the wild guide your next discovery. Because sometimes gold isn't found by force, it's revealed through understanding. This is EGS Pro, bringing the Earth's secrets to light, one discovery at a time.